Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create a sales commission template in Google Sheet. As you are seeing my screen, I have created this dynamic sales commission dashboard wherein you can select the date range. Let's say start date or the end date. You can decide I want to take the end date as 15th. Then it will show the data during these date range. And here we have the total commission and then total bonus amount also and this is total earnings. We are showing here date, agent name, total sales, commission rate, commission amount, sales target, whether that agent has made the sales target or not. We are showing that also then the bonus amount and total earnings. Okay. Now I'll show you a few other sheets also like here we have the input data and you can input the data here for example if you see we have data 2nd gen to 15th gen if i make any entry let's say for first gen select here first gen and select here agent name let's say pk amount i'm putting here let's say 10000 as i hit the enter automatically that will appear on the summary sheet first record as pk on first gen and then commission and the total earning also. Now I'll show you the next sheet which is commission rates. Here we have put the commission rate. This is total sales. If sale is 0 to 4000 then the commission rate will be 5%. 4000 to 8000 will be 7% and above 8000 is 10%. We have given a daily sales target for individual agents. Let me show you. So we have here sales agent and the daily sales target is here if sales agent is meeting the target 100% to 120% then the bonus amount will be 200 120 to 150 then 300 150 to 200 then 500 above 200% will be 1000 now i will show you how we can create this in google sheet step by step this is purely dynamic template and you can just change the number and use this in your business now let's start without delay. So I'm going to add a new spreadsheet and I will tell you from the scratch. So what I'm going to do here for sheet, let's rename this and I'm putting here sales agent. Okay, let's go to the view, show and uncheck the grid lines. We will use the same sales agent. Let's go back to the previous spreadsheet and from here we will copy these sales agent and daily target. You can change the target as you want. Just copy this and let's paste that here. Now the next sheet we will add as commission rates. Go to the view and show uncheck the grid lines from here and again we will copy the same commission rates as we are using. Let's go back to the previous spreadsheet and we will go to the commission rates and let's copy this whole copy and paste that here all right so we have the commission rates now the next sheet we will create input data wherein we will enter the data so just rename this as input data okay in the input data we will take three columns the first we will take the date column then we will take here agent name and we will take the sales amount or total sales go to the view so uncheck the grid lines from here select this range the whole range till 1000 record align them center middle and put up light color border let's say i'm taking this gray color and click on all borders select the header and change the background color let's say i'm taking this gray color and font color i'm taking white make it bold all right now here we will take the date input so we will put here a calendar when someone will double click on the cell the calendar should appear so what i'll do i'll select this whole range right click go to the drop down in the criteria just select each valid date click on ok now if i double click here the calendar will appear if i select any date the date will appear here all right now let's select this range and we will create a drop down for agent name right click and go to the drop down in the criteria this time select drop down from range click on this table icon and select the range in the sales agent 
so we have these list of sales agent click on ok now come back to the input sheet and here we can see a drop down if i select any agent name that will appear here we can enter the sales amount here manually all right for now i'm just entering the data which i have already available in the previous sheet so go to the input data and let's select this range copy and go back and paste as value shift control and v all right so we have pasted that as value we can use this formatting also just select this whole range go to the format number custom number formatting this one we can put here dd dash mmm dash by by apply the same formatting will be applied here all right so input sheet is ready now we will create our last sheet that is summary sheet so here we will create summary just rename this as summary all right let's close this we will use these headers here from date till total earning so we can copy this and from row number six we can paste that here so we are pasting it from column number v we can change the column width of column a adjust the column size go to the view and so uncheck the grid lines from here we will select this range till the end and we will go to the fill color alternating colors and here we will select any color design so let's say i'm selecting this one or you can select this one whatever you want okay and you can see the preview also by clicking here so you can decide which one you want so let's say i'm taking this one done okay now first of all we will create the top section so first here i will take start date then i will take here end date here i will take total commission then i will take total bonus in the last i will take total earning this one okay now we will quickly format this so let's pick first one and we will increase the row height for this row number three select these two align them center align them middle for this one we will fill a uh, color so let's go to the fill color and let's say i'm taking this color and here you can fill a light color so let's choose the this color from the same theme font you can take white here and make this bold if you want you can reduce the size we can increase the size of this little bit around 12 and now select this range and go to the border we will take the same dark color border and uh, thickness let's take this one and click on all borders all right so this is ready and here in the background we can take the white font and make this bold now let's select these two cells and use the paint format and just click here again take the paint format and just click click and just click so we have taken the same formatting we can quickly change this with the other colors so let's select the end date and here let's say i'm taking this color and here i'm taking this color and then border color also so go to the border change the color this one click on all borders similarly here you can change other color all right so we have done it now we will increase the row height for the first row and we will select this range and reduce the column size for column k till here use merge cells and fill a dark color here let's say i'm taking this color font take the white font make this bold increase the size and here you can put your title so we can say the sales commission template okay and align them center middle all right first of all we will put the calendar for a start date and date so let's select these two and right click go to the drop down and in the criteria we will select is valid date and just close this so if i double click i can select here let's say first chain 
and I double click I can select here 31st Jan okay so this is not visible properly let's take the black font for all so rather than white let us take the black font so it is visible now all right now let's put the other formula for total commission we can use the sum of this commission amount till the end and just close hit the enter so we are getting here total commission for total bonus use sum of this bonus column select this and hit the enter now total earning we will take sum of this total earning column and select this hit the enter we have put the formulas now we will put the formula here also to get the date agent name and total sales we can use here filter function use here filter and go to the input data and select all range till here all right comma the condition one we will select date so let's select this range from here till end is greater than or equal to and we will go to the summary and we will select this cell b3 all right comma the second condition we can simply copy this range date range and this time we will take less than or equal to in place of b we will take the column d which is end date this one all right let's close the bracket and hit the enter so we are getting here date agent name and sales okay let's select this whole range and align them center all right so if i change here let's say i want to see the data from first to 10th gen only so we can see the data for first to 10th gen only we can sort this data also so let us use the sort function here and in the range we can use this function comma the sort columns let's take the first column comma is ascending put here true and just close the bracket so it is sorted by date if you want to sort it by let's say sales so you can put here three in place of one so this is sorted by sales and if you want to the highest sale on the top then you can put here false in place of true so the highest sales on the top all right friends now put the other formulas also here to get the commission rate we will put a vlookup here vlookup total sales comma go to the commission rates and we will select this range press f4 to freeze this comma 2 comma 1 not 0 let's put here 1 only then hit the enter so we will get the commission rate okay now to get the commission amount we will multiply total sales by commission rate and just hit the enter so we are getting here commission amount sales target is by the agent name so let's use the bluka function agent name comma go to the sales agent seat and select this range the whole range comma two comma zero and just close the bracket hit the enter we are getting here sales target now target status so i will use here a if function if total sales is greater than or equal to sales target then target is met else we can say not met let's close the bracket hit the enter now the bonus first of all we will calculate how many percent we have met the target sales target so what we will do total sales divided by sales target so here it is coming to that is 200 percent okay now we will use a vlookup here before the this formula vlookup and the search key will be the answer of this okay comma go to the commission rate and select this table press f4 to freeze this comma 2 comma 1 and just close the bracket hit the enter we are getting here bonus amount okay the total earning will be sales commission amount plus bonus amount okay now we can fill down these formulas and we can see our result here but what if i change here let's say i'm selecting here two we are seeing here some extra formulas so what i can do here i can use one if formula if and let's take date column this v7 equal to blank then blank else this formula and just hit the enter we will copy this from here copy and we will put in the second formula 
the commission rate before this just paste and hit the enter okay and the third one also just paste and hit the enter and similarly here also paste and hit the enter and just paste here also and just hit the enter and in the total earning also paste and hit the enter now we will select these all formulas and fill down till the end control d okay now if i select let's say here second gen then we can see it is working perfectly if i select here let's say 15th or 16th gen then still it is working we are getting here few any so wherever it is not met we are getting this any so what we can do we can use the if error function before the vlookup okay so let's use here if error then we will put here blank and just close one more bracket and hit the enter just fill this down till the end so we can see the blanks here wherever target is not met the bonus will be blank or we can put here zero also in place of blank because this is amount so let's fill this down so here you can see it is zero all right so this is working now we can quickly select this target status column and we can go to the format and conditional formatting and here we will select is equal to and put here not met so if the value is not met then let's take this background color with white font done so here you can see so wherever it is not met it will appear in the red all right friends you can change the number formatting if you want so let's select the dates these two dates and press alt o and v and take this number formatting this one or you can type here apply then we will select this range total sales alt o and v and let's select this 0, 0.00 apply and same we will apply here also alt o and v and this one apply and similarly says target also alt o and v click apply and for this bonus column also alt o and v select this apply all right friends our sales commission template is ready so friends that is how you can create the sales commission template in google sheet Friends, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos. Thank you so much for watching.